If you met me when I was a young parent and lost custody of my daughter, you might have told yourself a story about who I was and that I was just an addict who was making bad choices. But that wasn't the whole story of who I was then and it's not the whole story of who I am now. When you help someone who is experiencing poverty, you might be stepping into some things you're not expecting. That person might not want to talk or might not always seem grateful for your help. As someone who has experienced poverty myself, I can tell you about some of the feelings that person might be having. When I was a teenager, still in high school, my parents took in my young nephew, my dad worked, and my mom took care of my nephew. I remember when he was little, he would climb all over me like I was his personal climbing toy. He loved making crafts from duct tape and wearing his costumes everywhere we went. When I was 17 years old, my mom experienced a sudden illness that left her hospitalized and mostly paralyzed. Literally overnight, I took on the primary responsibilities of my five-year-old nephew while also helping to care for my mom, and this continued for eight years. You might not know that kinship care can take an emotional toll on family relationships. We feel sorrow and pain over the addiction that made this kinship care necessary, and sometimes there is a family conflict we have to deal with. The last thing I want you to know is that even though we didn't plan on this situation, these children have enriched our lives so much. They are such wonderful kids. My husband and I joke that we would probably just be sitting in our rocking chairs if it weren't for them. It doesn't take a lot to support a kinship family. In the beginning, I can tell you that we felt very alone. Sometimes I felt invisible. You might not always notice us, but we are here doing this because we love these children. Just help us know we are not alone. <laughs>